My name is Bernice Berzer. I was born 08-29-1927 in Great Bend, Kansas. <clears throat> My parents were Elizabeth and Louis Berger. My parents were from the area, one from Oden, Kansas, and one from Allenwood, Kansas. In their lifetime, they were farmers and a housewife. My, my mother was a housewife, my father was a farmer. My name is Marie Robison, actually Marie Berzer Robison, and I was born March the 13th, 1939, in Great Bend, Kansas. At Hoisington, Kansas was an experience. We, were, we grew up on a farm north of Hoisington, we did have a nice new farm home that our grandparent, grandfather and his sons helped my dad build. Um, we had a nice four bedroom new home, but we had no electricity, no running water, and no indoor facilities. It, this is, I grew up in the late ni 1920s and early 1930s. Most farms at that time, some had Delco units, but we didn't. Most farmers didn't have any electricity because there was no high lines through there. After the war, REA, Rural Electrification Association, came through the countryside and put in high line wires so that all of us could hook up to electricity. My sisters and I, except the younger one and brother, uh, went to a one-room country school about two miles from our house. Sometimes we walked to school and sometimes we walked home if the weather was nice. Otherwise, our dad took us and picked us up. In fourth grade, I attended St. John's Catholic School in town, Hoisington, Kansas, because my brother was then a freshman in high school and he got to drive to school, so I would ride with him in the morning. So that's how I was able to attend the Catholic school, which was quite a change because there wasn't the grass and the trees like we had out at the country school. Hoisington was special because it was a railroad town, there, and also the oil boom hit there in the late 30s and early 40s. So we had a lot of friends and people in our schools who were not natives of the area. They were migrated in because of their of the the railroad and because of the oil business. But we had met some really nice friends in our high school and the high school was new and I think the teachers were very good. I never felt like I was being deprived of a good education because I was living in a small town. Most of my friends lived in town, in fact, all except maybe two or three. So I enjoyed going into town to see my friends. And when I got in high school, the big thing was driving up and down Main Street looking for boys. And usually there were boys looking for girls. <laughs> and we had big Labor Day parades, and that was fun. And uh, we had school dances, and I enjoyed most of my classmates. To this day, Hoisington, Kansas and the surrounding area remain a fun, vibrant place full of tradition and much to offer for residents as well as visitors. <laughs>